Over 7,000 public basic schools in Ghana are without toilet facilities. The phenomenon is forcing more pupils to engage in open defecation with its attendant health problems. The Coalition of NGOs in Water and Sanitation has launched a campaign in Accra to solve this menace. Emmanuel Jivenu has more. According to the 2017 Education Management Information System report by the Ghana Education Service, more than 7,000 public basic schools are without toilet facilities in Ghana. This means an estimated 2 million Ghanaian children are compelled to resort to open defecation. This unhygienic practice poses health threats to school children, teachers and other educational workers. It is against this background that the Coalition of NGOs in Water and Sanitation, Koniwas, is championing the campaign to ensure every student has access to decent toilet facilities. Issues of sanitation are so broad, and therefore we decided that we want to prioritize um, school sanitation because, you know, we should care about the well-being of the children. Children go to school, there's no toilet facility, and they have to defecate around. And this comes back to harm them. It comes back to give them infections, diseases. So when they go home, they cannot study. So we thought that if we are able to address the issue of school sanitation, we will be addressing issues of health, quality education, and many other things. Majority of those who have, the facilities are not functional. I mean, I think it should be a source of concern for all of us. The coalition also blamed metropolitan, municipal, and district assemblies for not prioritizing sanitation in the country. The onus rests with the district assemblies because they have the mandate for the total development of their jurisdiction. Unfortunately, they do not prioritize sanitation. In fact, we did a study of some district assemblies and their location or expenditure on sanitation. It will surprise you to know that the highest we found was less than 0.5%. Meanwhile, the law is clear. There's an allocation you are supposed to commit to improving sanitation in your jurisdiction, but they don't. I mean, they prefer to spend the money elsewhere and they neglect issues of water sanitation and hygiene. According to a research conducted by the Department of Civil Engineering at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, government needs $147 million to provide hygienic places of convenience for schools without one. Emmanuel Jivenu's report for Joy News.